Good afternoon, everybody. This is the Balloon Bandit with Amusement with a Twist Orlando, and today I'm going to do a Mickey tribute to uh, um, Lookalike. And um, the reason I'm making this is because, due to your support and all my friends and, and the subscribers to this channel, I can now make full body characters and not will have to worry about time restraints. So, this will be the first in many of uh, full body and be able to show you how it's done okay so we're, we're gonna start out with the Mickey head everybody's been asking how did I make the Mickey so we're gonna actually start out we're gonna get a black uh, 260 and you wanna blow it up to quite a bit off the tail uh, because this takes a lot of twists and if you don't leave a lot of room, you're going to end up having it way too tight, and it's definitely not going to work. Okay, so we're going to start out. We're going to start out with the first ear, which is actually it's not an ear that we start out with. Uh, start out with um, what is a hand bowl. Um, now we're going to do the ear. We're going to fold it over in our hand. This is a, a pedal twist. And you're going to squeeze down on the ear itself when you turn this one. Because what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to be able to spread it open and not have it pop. Okay, next is an ear twist right behind it. Not, not too big. I'm trying to stay in the video here. Not too big, but be gentle with it because you only want to twist it just enough to get it to do that. Okay, next we're going to do a small bubble followed by an ear twist. Okay, now you'll have what looks like that. Okay, next we're going to do another small bubble. And you can do it either, either the ear twist next or the ear next. I do it the ear next. Uh, just makes it a lot easier before you do that ear twist. So let's do another uh, pedal twist. Again, squeezing down on the ear. Twist it and then spin it around. Now you just have what looks like this. Okay. So next we're going to come up here and we're going to do another ear twist. bubbles okay the next piece we're going to want to make these two if I can get them in here these two bubbles have to be the same so take your your nozzle and, and spin it right around and that should make two equal bubbles right there okay now we're going to tie it through okay now you'll have what looks somewhat like a Mickey Okay, now this black piece here, we got to run it back up. This is going to be your center bubble. And if you did it right, you should have just enough and just wrap it around the, the center ear twist. Be gentle not to pop your ear twists. It's just such a pain if you have to start this design all over again. So you can either, you can either cut this off, tie it, or just leave it. I'm going to just leave it because it will sit behind the eyes when I'm finished. Okay, now we need to um, place everything. So first we're going to like place the um, ears. We're going to take it, we're going to spread it open, and we want this bubble right here, this ear twist, to go inside. So we spread it open. Push the ear twist be gentle doing this. It, it's really sensitive to um, popping. Once you get it inside, then just be gentle when spreading it, and you should have what looks like an ear. Now we're going to do the same. Pull it open and take your ear twist and rotate it into the ear. Then rotate the ear into place and then pull out on your ear 
And as you can see, my ears are not even. One has a bigger hole than the other one. But again, it takes practice to get the exact same size of it. Okay, next thing we're doing is we're going to push this center bubble between everything. So we're going to pull it out, pull it out, because we want that bubble to sit dead center. Okay, okay. So now we have the back of Mickey's head. Okay, next part we're going to do, we're going to take a blush. 260. This one you can blow up to about um, hand length. It works just fine at about a hand, hand length off or so. Okay. Uh, depending on how big you want his face to be or whatever, this is this is all up to you. A set of four uh, pedal twists. I make three of them the same size like you would do in the rows. All about the length of my hand. Okay, so now we have what is like the rose petals. Now we're going to make a smaller one for the lower jaw. Just pinch it, crimp it, roll it through. Okay, and then I lock it into place by going through one of the, um, the pedal twists, and then I break it off and tie it. I always tie any time I break a balloon free. Um, it's just good practice. Okay, so now we have what is our um, mouth area. So uh, double check to make sure that your bubbles are about as even as possible. So, then once you got that, take two of them, hold them like that, straighten out his face, and then you'll have two and two, like that. So this is going to be his front jaw, and these are his two side cheeks. Now we've got to tie his back of his head into here, so we're going to just wrap it around the center. So we pull it around one time this way, with the nozzle, and then let go. Take it one time the opposite direction. This pulls it in tight. Okay. Now, now you should have what's starting to look like your Mickey. Okay. So you should have something that looks like this. Okay. And as you can see, I have that black balloon still. And now we're going to cover that up with a white one, which is going to be his eyes. Please understand that this video will be uh, a little longer than most, and like I said, you'll start seeing a lot more like them. That way I can show you everything on how to make a balloon. And, and basically all I did was I tied the white to the blush in order to start forming his eyes. Okay, now we're going to take the white and we're going to run it up here around the the center pinch twist, you want to roll it around. So bring it down to the eyes are about as even with the top of his head, and then just roll it right up under there. Roll it, roll it, roll it, roll it, roll it, until you come back out the front. You don't have to go around more than once, just enough to go up under here. Now, you bring it right back down. To be about as even as possible. So once you figure out where your evenness is, twist it. And then the easiest way to do this is to hold his eyes and his head part and then just twist it right around and through there until you come out the back. When you come out the back, you should have what it looks like that at the moment because it's not straightened up, but you position it. And you turn it down now. You should have the Mickey head, except for he still needs his nose and you've got to draw his eyes on, but that's the Mickey head part. Okay, so we're going to break this white balloon free and we're going to tie it off. So if you wanted to make a hat, you would have just 
continued on with the white um, as a hat band. That's how the Mickey hat is made. But we're, we're, we want more than the hat. We want the full, full body look alike. Okay, so we're just going to wrap that in there just to make sure his eyes don't come out. Okay, and the back should look something like this. You have your two ears. Position him every now and then because as you can see his nose is not sitting right at this moment in time but that that changes when you have the headband and all that other stuff in place so, okay that's the head part okay we're gonna put that to the side right now okay there there's many different Mickeys out there you can either make him with the black with the uh, red shorts or the red pants with the black tuxedo with the white it's really up to you what body you're going to make. I'm going to do the red pants with the black tuxedo and the black shoes. So we're going to do, next balloon is a black 260. We're going to start with his feet. This, um, this is standard feet. It's the pedal twist followed by the ear twist. Um, size of the hand, twist it around, tuck it through. That ties it into place and you should have that. We need two of these. One, tie it off because you want to reuse the next piece. So you should have your extra balloon. Okay, tie your foot because you don't want the air to come out. Just on the off chance that that ear twist comes off. Okay, so we have what looks like one foot. Okay, we'll stick that to the side. We'll make another one. The object is to try and make them as even as possible, so that's why I use the length of my hand um, when I'm making these, is because the length of my hand makes them about as even as possible that you can get here. Okay, so and then we're gonna make another ear twist right here. I only twist it like twice. So it said three times and it likes to come untwisted. I, uh, it has to do with the extra uh, knots and stuff right there from the other other half of the balloon. So you'll have two. You can actually have them as ears if you really wanted to. But okay, now we're gonna move up the um, chain. So in order to do this one, we have to start with the body, um, just like with any of my other designs the body is a simple simple and easy design leave about hand length off six fingers whatever you want to call it okay we're gonna start out with a little more than a hand length uh, bubble followed by our ear twist Designed for the body. This body does pretty well for anybody and everybody, you know, that you could ever create if you really just like the standard body look. Okay. So, it's um, basically what you'll have is um, a bubble, ear twist, bubble, and then repeat. So, you'll have two sets. And they can actually be like glasses or whatever if you want. Just put little straps on the sides to wrap it around somebody's head. And you can even put clear balloons in the middle in order to make it look like see-through glasses or whatever. Okay. But we're going to break this one off because we don't want this one. So now you have the, um, the basis of the body. Okay, since I want to uh, make it with the white tux part, we need a white 260 prior to closing it up. And this is um, going to just be his shirt. Okay, now I'm going to squeeze it down because I don't want it 
hard because I don't really want a lot of bubble per se. So I'm going to squeeze it down. Um, now we're going to take whatever side you decided is going to be the front of your body. You're going to tie it around the um, ear twist and just bring it down the front, pressing on it to like squeeze out most of the air. We don't want a lot of air in there because we don't want it to be puffy. We just want it to be there. Then tie it around and pull it through. sideways okay, I'm trying to get in the camera you can see it just barely puffs out the front but we'll fix that one once I um once I get it in place okay so that's gonna be the upper part of his body now since we're making uh, Mickey we need his legs now you can make his legs either straight or you can bend them I usually like to bend the legs on all my characters. It just gives it more of an effect like he's got knees and stuff, but that's really all up to you what you want to do with it. So we're going to start out with a hand bubble. Then we're going to go, what is it, ear twist. If you want him to have straight legs, you just don't do this. Just make it straight and make it about two hand lengths or whatever. Um, but I don't. Because I'm making a bent knee. So we're going to bring it over. We got hand link bubble, hand link bubble, ear twist. And then just to verify that they're as about as even as you can get them, do it like that. Then take it and hold it side by side. And in order to get it about as even as possible, now you should have that. Okay, I have to hold this with my knees or under my arm while breaking it apart. I haven't put it in place yet. Or you can use the Mickey body and hold it. But I like to make sure it's um, together and it doesn't pop before I um, place it in my body. Um, some people like to get ahead of themselves. Um, I don't, so now I will have what looks like um, top of SpongeBob's head, um, a pair of horns, um, whatever you want to do with it. You can make a make a neat bull with that if you use it in white. Um, okay, but that's not what we're here teaching today. So now we're gonna take this and take our body, and all you do is just roll it over. You don't have to twist it or anything. You just Push it right through the center, and then it'll lock itself in place. Move your uh, nozzle to the inside. Any any knots or things that may be down in his crotch area, make sure they're on the inside of your balloon. Okay, position his feet to face like he would be um, standing or sitting or whatever, however you want him. Okay, now that his feet are in place, we're gonna just close them up because that's that part of the balloon. So you take your two ear twists and grab them, pull out on them a little bit, not too much. You don't want to pop the balloon, you just want to, you don't want a lot of friction. And with the black balloons, it just seems like there's quite a bit of friction no matter what you do. So you're going to have what looks like that. Now we want to finish pushing, pushing our shirt up in the middle of that because that's where our shirt needs to be. Now, when I turn him sideways, you can see it's flush, but it's there. Okay? So, next part, we can add his feet that we already made. Take his feet, just wrap it around twice, and voila, it sets on really nice. Okay? Do that with your other foot. Just 
pull out on the nozzle piece or the extra balloon that you have. And voila. And like I said, if you twist this more than twice, it just likes to want to untwist. So um, always only do it like twice and, and it'll set nice for you. So now we have that part of the Mickey. Okay. And as you can see, his body doesn't really set flush sometimes, so you have to move him around. Okay, since now we have his pants, his feet, and his upper torso, we need to move on to do his arms and his hands. Um, so, his arms are going to be the same color as his um, shirt. So we're going to do the black 260. Uh-oh. Somebody's having issues. Who is it? Which bubble is it? All I hear is pop, pop, pop. I don't see it. Unless he was just the way he was sitting on the table here. Oh, no. It's an ear twist. Ah, damn it. But that's okay. We'll fix it later. Okay, we're going to start out. I like bent arms so just like with the legs we're gonna go one ear twist boom uh, one followed by one followed by ear twist followed by one and you should have again the horns or the um, SpongeBob head part.
Star, Qualitex, Balloons. Um, I have used the Belltech Balloons in the past. They work okay. Um, actually, I use both. But it just depends on what I'm using it for. Okay, now we've put his, his um, balloon back in place, but I'm not going to stick it through until the center. Make sure all your knots, all your knots are in the center. Middle put the, uh, body and back together put the legs through. by pulling them down and or pushing sideways. That opens it up just enough that we pull it through. And again, we're not twisting them, we're just setting them. Okay, we can straighten them up later. Okay, back up here. Again, the two, two. Uh, Ear twist, which make a set of lips gently one time. You don't need no more than that because you're gonna wrap other stuff around them and that'll hold it in place. Okay, now we got that part. Now let's take his arms uh, nice and gentle, like lift up, lift up on your ear twist just enough to wrap the arms under. And you're gonna roll it around. Don't, don't force it around. Roll it around. If you force it around, you're only gonna end up popping one or the other of your balloons. And, and, and we don't want to pop our balloons. So by lifting up and rolling it, lifting up and rolling it, roll it under. Try and roll them in the same direction. Um, if one's rolling one way, one rolling the opposite direction, and you cause uh, friction between the two balloons when you pass them over each other. Okay. Now, once your arms are in place, the object is to tuck your arms. You want your arms to be facing forward to the front of your body. Pull your um, balloons apart and roll it down. Pull the front apart, roll it down. Like I said, and, and, and be gentle when doing this because too much friction will pop your bone. Pull it apart, roll it down, pull it apart, and, and roll it down. Like I said, try try not to get as much of that popping noise as I'm getting. Um, but if you have to, you have to. There's sometimes just no way around it. Okay, so now we have what looks like this. Now we want to push this in. So we're going to pull it apart almost like a um, three pedal roll through is basically what the object is, is to just set it back. But you don't want to, you don't want to tuck it all the way in. You want it, you want it to be about as flush as possible. You know, if you've got it too far in, then it, then it disappears and there's no sense in putting that bubble there. You could actually just do it without the white if you wanted to get away with that. Okay? So, now we have our arms. And, and you don't have to really worry if these are up or down or whatever. As long as you put your arms in and you got them where you want them. Because basically, you can always just pull out on your ear twist and turn it to where you want your arms. Up, down, left, right, whatever. But the object is to bring your bubbles down so that they set below the neckline. That way, when you put your, when you go to tie his head on, you don't end up popping them. And the object with these two, these two here, you want them to set like they're like they're flush, like on a rose or something. You don't want one up, one down. Because then his neck doesn't set right. One, he'll either lean forward or sideways or whatever. So now we got that part of his body. Okay. So next uh, we need his hands. We're going to move to white. This is a nice simple hand design. You can you can just do uh, round hands if you want. But I'd, I do kind of more square, so we're going to start out with what is uh, like a three finger bubble. Here's the hand bubble, followed by bring it down, which is what they call locked 
twist. Okay. So you have what looks like the puppy dog head. Woof woof. Or or a dinosaur foot. Whatever you want to call it. Um, next we're gonna do a uh, ear twist. Then we want to position. looks nice and then what are we gonna do we're gonna break it away uh, remember to save the other half of the white because you need two hands um, by breaking it off and tying it it saves you time especially if you're doing this type of stuff for line work or whatever okay so and now we got whoop, there goes one hand so again three finger bubble Bubble, lock twist bubble, uh, ear twist bubble. And again, position it before you break it away. Make sure it looks good. Break it away, and that white piece is no longer needed. Tie off your hands. Make sure that you always tie off. That's a good, good thing to get into. Okay. Now, just like the feet, basically you just take your uh, loose end or your nozzle, whichever the end is, and just wrap it around twice. The more you wrap it around, the less it will stay in place because you'll have so much wattage from uh, wrapping stuff through that it just doesn't like to stay in there or whatever. Okay, so now you have Mickey Hand. But again, it's your choice. You can do just a regular stand um, pedal twist there if you want. Or round hands. And again, just twice. And I try and tuck it in and under uh, so people can see it. it just kind of makes the design a little more cleaner. Okay, so now we have our Mickey body. Followed by... Um, Mickey head and with this design you have to make a small neck just like um, with my Dora and the Diego I just take a small piece of whatever color I was using is the main color so I got a little piece of black um, you could use pumps or whatever I just have been blowing them up by mouth um, it's really all up to your Part. Okay, now this this one we we don't want it to be too big, so uh, about a three finger bubble should work because we got to cover um, the distance between the neck and the distance between the back of the head. But we don't want it too big because then his head is like way up over his body and then looks like a funky chicken neck or whatever. So we just want just enough. Okay, so now we have what is a three finger bubble, and you can do it one or two ways. You can wrap it around the body or wrap it into the head first. I prefer to put it in the head first because it just it's harder to adjust this prior to the body. So take it, wrap it around, wrap it around between the two, pull it down, tuck it in. In. And as you can see, my my cheeks have now gone uh, sideways. That, that's typical with this design. Is that these, uh, cheeks don't feel like they're sitting in place. That's why I do that piece first. Um, if you're having issues, if you if you're having issues with this balloon not setting right, you can always just change it out with one of the other balloons. That way, maybe. It's just the twist knots or whatever that is down in there causing it not to want to set right. So now it's setting right. But now I gotta bring this back black one down and tuck it in between. The object is to pull it down to where it sits, just under it, right between the mouth 
and the two. So that's why I wrap it around the um, base of the neck between the beige and the black or whatever. And then, and then I pull it down and set it in there and that keeps it setting in place nicely. And as you can see, I didn't leave too much so it shouldn't look like it's out of place. It should look pretty decent when I'm done. Um, okay, now we want to put the nose in. We need a black round. Okay, um, take your black round and you want to blow it up pretty good. Um, but what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to, once you get it blown up, then you just want to twist a little bubble on the end. You can let it out a little if, if, if the um, twist is not seeming to work for you. Um, but the object is, the reason for that is you want a nice shiny bubble. You don't want it to just be black, you know. By expanding it out, it makes it more shiny. Okay. So, your Mickey nose is about the size of the palm of your hand or smaller depending on however big you want your Mickey nose to be. But like I said, the main object is to blow it up, twist it, that way you get that nice shiny glare look to it. Okay. Now in order to do the Mickey nose, you want to take it and pull it through the mouth, um, upper mouth bubble between the ear twist and or between the pedal twist. Okay, once you get it pulled through there, you got the bottom. Okay, pull it nice, pull it way down nice and high to where you can get get a hold of that knot. If you can see it, it's right there at the tip of my finger. Okay, now take your nose, pull it forward, and pull pull on the bottom while doing it. And that that gets it to set right on the front of that bubble. Okay. Once you've done that, you can uh, let off a little, but take the extra and just wrap it around through the head one time. This keeps his nose from flying away on you. Okay, then reposition his head to where, again, everybody sets in place. And like I said, your nose can be smaller or bigger or whatever you want. And that's the basis of the Mickey head, other than drawing his eyes on. Okay, now we want to attach it to his body. And again, this is a look-alike balloon. So. And this is my design. Thank you very much. So I pull, I pull the um, the two um, ear twists apart to get that bubble to set in there a little tighter. You know, it's really all up to you. Okay, see how his head doesn't wobble as much. If I pull up on it, then it's loose. You can wrap it around a few times and then twist him backwards a few times to get it set right, or just pull down on those bubbles and push it in and then let up and it the friction between them just holds it in place. Okay, so that's the Mickey head, the arms, the feet, and again, like I said, I like bent knees, I like bent arms, just makes them more poseable. Um, but I'm still not finished with him because with the black black suit, um, black tux Mickey, um, he, he needs a little bit of tux back here and a bow, which is yellow. So we're moving to a yellow bow. Okay, this this bow is just like your uh, Hello Kitty bow. It's um, about an ear twist that's about the palm of your hand, followed by an ear twist about the palm of your hand. And you can squeeze it down. It makes it a little easier and softer or whatever. You'll have what looks like a pair of lips or whatever you want to call it. Okay, now we're gonna put a we're gonna put an ear twist right here. And that's gonna be the 
center of his bow tie. Okay. And if you want, you can pull it apart and try to make it square like his bow. And pressing down and crimping or whatever, you get that kind of squarish look to it. And if I can get it in the camera. Voila. Again, just reposition it to where you want it. Um, now, we're going to want to give it a little distance on here. We're going to wrap it around his neck. But always, again, I tie off. And where we put his arms in, if you can see it, the two ear twists, that's the part we want to go under. We want to wrap it under. Okay. Now, you guys will say, oh, you're finished once you wrap it under. No, I hold on to that piece because I want to wrap it back around through. After I get his bow into the front, I want to wrap it right around that uh, bow because I want it to secure it in the front. Position it. Okay, and again, his head's kind of up a little, so. And then twist this down. Haven't laid this front of this bow. Okay. Then putting on his his eyes, we have our basic Mickey look like here, and except for his little piece of ducks, I'm gonna use a, a black 160. <coughs> okay, and then the object with this black 160 is we're just gonna make like a um, W type shape. We want to come down just about three fingers, make a little uh, ear twist, okay, then we're going to come up about two fingers, make an ear twist, go down two fingers, two fingers, make an ear twist. three fingers and snap it off. You'll say, well, you don't really need this piece. And you're right, you don't really need this piece, but you know, it's just, like I said, this is my way of doing it and it's what I want. So now I have a little W and the object is, we're just gonna tuck it right in the sides. I'm going to basically grab the nozzle through the body and pull it down and then uh, as you can see I've pulled it through the side of the body and I'm going to put it in the back center of the body and that's one in place. Now I'm going to do that opposite to on the other side. I'm going to pull it through the body so I can get my hands in there. tail and then bring it out the other side and do it again and pull it right through his hind tail uh, which would give it two equal ones instead of having an opening there 
or you could take a knot and tie it up or push it up inside there. And it's really up to you on how you do his tail. Um, again, it's not necessary, just a neat little extra to have on there to make it more the tuxedo look. Okay. So let's get our pin. I use Sharpie even though they say Sharpie's not the best for doing this. That's okay. Nice round. Nice round eyes. Try and get them about the same size um, when you're making his eyes. It just. The, the more the same size they are, the nice the design looks. But if you're in a hurry and you don't want to do it, that's fine too. Okay, as you can see, that's my finished product. M I C K E Y look a lot like M I C K E Y look alike. Okay, that's a full body. Uh, again, the full body is just like with any of my other full bodies. Um, Dora, Diego, Hello Kitty, um, you could also use it with the little green man, the, the body part itself, again, I have a video for how to, how to make that video on just the body, um, it, like I said, it's a real simple design, real quick, easy, uh, great for line work, and again, hope you enjoyed the video. And take care until next time. Have fun.